All right, then everybody, this is Yara here, and now we're here with Tim that got first place. Uh, he is the Dinomorphia master, so uh, what made you want to play Dinomorphia? Uh, so I accidentally left my Melodious Voices voice at home, and then I saw who I was facing around one, and I was like, all right, I got to play a... Uh, the good deck and not photon. <laughs> so I pulled out uh, Dynamorphia real fast. Okay. Just had it inside. All right. Uh, so. But I won before with this deck. He's just he's never here. It's yeah. Show that I won. Yeah, but this time uh, he has some spicy stuff in the extra deck inside deck. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, three Thresia, standard, three Diplos. Some people play two or three. Um, and then instead of duality, I play wannabe. Uh, easy side out target, and then um, it's like a, another prosperity rhythm. Uh, it can also be a Typhon pilot if you like, play, or if they play uh, spells and traps. Like game one, you just summon it and you can make Typhon. Uh, three prosperity for consistency. You don't really need most of the extra. I usually only do three. <laughs> Uh, Dino Orphea Traps, uh, 3 Domain, 3 Frenzy, 2 Alert, 1 Brute. Uh, alert comes up a lot for the grind game, like you just run out of names sometimes when they uh, reduce your whole board. Brute to out things like Chaos Angel, Floodgates, uh, non-targeting pop by the way, and you can copy it with Petrogina so it's like a, a 2 for 1. How did it feel drawing both of these against me? Uh, hard drawing them. I mean, if you draw both, you don't need like um, intact or monster negate um, because if they ash one, you just activate the other one, and then you use Kentucky and the copy frenzy, so you're in there no matter what. Um, speaking of intact, intact cards broken. Uh, monster negate if you control a Dynamorphia card. So if you only have like a domain and they ash it, you control a Dynamorphia card, so you can intact. So you don't need a monster on the field to resolve it. And then um, when this resolves, any battle damage you take this turn instead halves your life points. So uh, I did the math. If you're at 1,000 life points, you have to attack 13 times for me to get to one life point. So, and then once I'm at one, then I can just banish it to negate the battle damage. Um, Sonic, because you need the searchable spell, spell negate. If they open with like dust or anything, you can just search it. So you try to make sure you have a fusion trap, a monster negate to negate uh, hand traps like, like Ash so you, so you can play. And then um, this for like talents, duster, droplet, all that stuff. Um, the side, the, the side engine, Soul is Pink King. It works really well with this deck. You pay half. Um, makes the opponent play around uh, two to three boss monsters. So you get Rex Term, and you also get uh, the targets in the side deck, which I'll show later. Uh, two Trap Trick, it's just extra consistency. Um, the card, the thing I dislike about this is like you can only take one more trap. So if you like have to use a fusion trap and they ash it, you can't chain uh, like intact or anything. Um, the best card in the deck, Ferret Flames. It, it affects the player, so it doesn't matter if you have three bo three unaffected boss monsters. They're all getting shuffled back because I only have 100 life points. Uh, judgment, because you know, this card says free. Negate summons, negate talents, duster evenly, all that stuff. For, uh, format dependent cards, debunk, hits uh, Kieran, Druid Swarm, Vist deals, uh, Ash Blossom. Didn't you win the last round because My, of this card? Yeah, the last game was against Snake Eye. He went Ash Effect, add Poplar, Poplar Effect, I went debunk, and then he cried. He went, why is that a card? And then he passed. And he, he just scooped. Uh, and then last two for 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 41. Iron Thunder. Um, it's personal preference. Like, um, I either want to play this or Soul Drain, which negates graveyard effects. 
which is like the hard part, like if they Kirin or Druid Swarm, the outs Rex Um This is another Omni Negate against the Voiceless Voice. They activate a card and it blows up the negated column. Um, the bad thing is, it could also blow up your card. So if they activate like talents in the Rex Term column, then you can't really Iron Thunder or else you're going to lose Rex. So, uh, but it's good for blowing up floodgates like Skill Drain. Um, well, if they activate a monster, I don't know. It's hard. Anyway, you know what I mean. 41 cards. Uh, extra deck. 14 cards, because uh, I left Typhon in the Voiceless Voice deck. Uh, 2 Rex Term. Could have been 3. Uh, three never really comes up. Three Kentragina. Um, three never really comes up. Two Stealth Bergia. I've never. I've summoned this like twice in my life. Um, it's won me some games. Uh, if it worked against Masquerade, it, it would be great, but it doesn't. Um, it, it's usually if you play like Solemn Strike, it has to pay 15. Uh, the Zark cards. One Zark. One Arc Ray Dragon, because. Um, if you summon this preemptively in standby phase, and they don't activate a spell on your turn, you tribute this, summon this, and it doesn't go back to the end phase. It doesn't go back to the extra deck on the end phase, so it's a Zark forever. So they basically have to worry if they ever play a spell again for the rest of the game. Um, it's also just a 4,000 body, so it's really scary to get rid of. Um, the scale effect of this has come up sometimes because people don't read it and then they get screwed over because they can't activate synchro effects. Um, and then the two targets, Grave Eyes, uh, it has a lot of text but the only thing on it is negate zero attack monsters wherever they are. So it negates like all the U-Bells, um, Grave Squirmer, Ash, Baylor, Mourner, all that stuff. Uh, and then also has a um, if it attacks and the monster doesn't die, it can ban it banishes the monster. Um, this this has won me games by itself. Um, spell trap negate or effect negate, um, and then it you can chain to a monster effect, gain the attack, and then it becomes unaffected by activated monster effects. And like people try to out this all the time, and I go, okay, it's unaffected. And then, like, I've just won games by just negating a spell trap forever. Uh, cards that never really came up besides Lagia. Lagia comes up because I'd rather have a spell trap negate than a monster negate. And it's also 100 bigger for damage. Do Garish for if I only have um, two level fours and I'm out of fusion trap somehow, I can revive a Rex turn. Um, and the last card should be Typhon. But it's in the voices deck. Uh, I didn't need it today. It would have came up, but uh, it didn't matter. I just had full setup and traps. And the side deck, uh, 12 card side deck, because I was too lazy to find three more cards. Is it because uh, you thought you were too good for? Yeah, I was. I was too good for 15 cards. <laughs> uh, never came up. I won the die roll, and then I won the next game. Uh, Book of Moon for the Runic matchup. Also, if you um, secret effect of Zark, it has a mandatory effect on summon, which is why I activate it in standby phase instead of the main phase, so it doesn't turn on uh, talents, but it does turn on thrust. Um, uh, so mandatory effect on summon to blow up your entire opponent's field. It's negated. I tell them that, and they go, okay. And then I go, chain two Book of Moon, target Zark, face down. It forgets it's negated, and then it blows up their whole field. And then it flips face up, and then it has all, all Zark's effects again. Um, but really, the Book of Moons just are for Runic, uh, dodging, freezing, and flashing fires. Uh, Lava Golem, because we don't really need the normal summon. Um, Shifter, for when we go second, because... We don't need the graveyard until the turn three. Um, and then evenly, because we're a trap deck, and I don't really end the game my turn. And then on like turn four, turn five. Um, I also always bait this, because uh, like even if I don't have it, I go battle phase, and it makes them activate effects, because they're scared of it. So just because they're scared of it is good. 
Um, and then I go into battle. Main phase two. Uh, okay, set. <laughs> and then they go, oh, okay. So yeah, I don't know what the last three will be. Probably like back row removal, duster, lightning storm. That's probably what it would be. Duster, lightning storm. Um, and then that's it. Throw down a more few. Played this deck for too long. Find all the ins and outs. Next crack. It beats hand, hand trap heavy formats because I just go normal, get impermed. Okay, set four. <laughs> That's right. what happened today against me and you won. Yep. I went, you're going to imprint me, and I'm going to set four anyway. And then I had the nuts. <laughs> Monster negate, both of these traps. Spell negate, and we're in there. <laughs> All right, then. That's it. All right, Tim, appreciate it. Congratu congratulations. Bye-bye.